Hello and welcome to The Forgotten Golfer. Today, that's right, you read the thumbnail correctly. I'm going to show you how to create a little draw or a little fade you're choosing with your driver so you can make sure on those tough holes that you're in the middle of the fairway somewhere. You can just choose whatever shot you like and you're only going to have to change your swing this much. What's that? Three inches? Believe it or not, come right back and I'll show you how to do it. That's what I'm talking about. So you must be saying, Tony, you're out of your cotton pick in mind. There's a million videos, two million on YouTube, how to hook, how to fade. It's not like that. It's not three inch change. It's a huge change. You've got to change your stance. You've got to change your posture. You've got to cut across it. You've got you to hold it off. You've got to flip it over. Not with this method. And if it works for me, it'll work for you. Because chances are, you're working with more flexibility than I got. I don't have that much. Let me move closer. I got a very weak grip. The left hand points to the target. The right hand points away from the target. That's a pretty weak grip. Okay? Now, what we're going to do, the reason this is going to work, is notice... When I put the club down behind the ball, let me get a ball so you can see it. When I address the ball, I'm like this, right? That's basically my swing. So if you notice, I got, I got a little curvature here. That's natural for me and I don't change it because I really like it like that. Helps me take the club away the way I want to. But I got a little curvature here at the wrist, and I hit the ball pretty straight. You know, with the new clubs and the new balls, I'm pretty much straight. Sometimes it fades a little bit. Sometimes I hook it a little bit. Well, this defines the shot right here. Next time you go to the range, I mean, this is so simple. You're going to want to jump out on the course and do it, but don't. You're going to have to work with it a little bit. You got to get your timing down, okay? So, when you get up to the ball on the range, and if you have a grip like mine, all I want you to do is when you take the club away for the first two feet or an inch of your wrist, flatten it out. So, instead of taking it without moving the wrists, I want you, for the draw, to move it like that just like that and after you do that keep that the whole complete swing and that little move right there taking it from a little a little cuff here a little 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 unevenness between my hand and my wrist to flatten it out and that one little move will put you on a plane to hook the ball and you don't have to change your stance. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to change your tempo. Just changing that one little thing about your grip. This. Now how hard was that? It's going to make you come in a little different with an inside out and a quick turnover. You're not going to feel it. You're just going to see the ball go out just a tiny bit to the right. And then it's going to curve back. And it's going to give you extra roll, and I bet you're going to pick up a few extra yards. Watch it, I'll do it.
So I get right up to the ball like this. And notice I got the, I'm cupped a little bit at the wrist. Club's right at the target. And my first inch move of my hand, I'm gonna flatten it, see? Now I'm flat. See how the club face is? Club face looks closed. Normally, I wouldn't move it and it'd look a little more open. This looks closed, but don't worry about it because you're square to the target. And if you swing correctly, this will produce a little draw that you're looking for. See, right there. And I hit it so solid that way. Okay, now that you've seen that, I know you're not convinced, you'll have to hit shots to convince yourself. Got to go to the range. Don't think you're going to get up on the first tee and say, I think I'll just try this. May work right away, but it may not. Your swing is not my swing, and I don't know what's going to happen with your swing. I don't know what kind of swing you have, what kind of move you have to the ball. Okay, now, how about this little fade? So that's a harder shot because it's just fading a little. You know, say you got more open fairway on the left and you want to send it down the left side with a little tiny fade, comes back. This is how you do that. Again, I address the ball the same way. I tend to like a slightly open stance, but that's just me because I played a fade for years. So I still like the open stance. Club right at the target. Now, see how I got this cup? Last time for the, uh, for the hook or the draw, we took it, flattened it out. Right? This time, we're doing the opposite. See the little cup? We'll cup it more. Cup it more, coming off the ball. And then you're going to come through. I'm going to give you a little fade. Let me show you that again. You want the little fade. You cup it, coming off the ball. Last time we flattened it, now we're cupping it. And that'll give you the little fade. You don't believe me? Now we're going to take it, we're going to cup it more. We're going to open slightly. We're going to cup it more. Perfect little fade. Not much. I mean, these shots are not for getting around trees or getting out of danger. I mean, I don't have as much club head speed as maybe you do. If you've got a ton of club head speed, maybe you can make it work it better. But you won't know until you're on the range. Let me show you that again. We're going to take the cup, the little cup that I have, and we're going to make it worse and then come through with a slightly open stance, the club face right at the target, and this is how we're going to move the ball. Oh my God, I'm feeling like Lee Trevita. You're going to love that. It sits so solid, and your wrists are moving right through the ball.